Hey guys, it's Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, Topic 6.6 .6 on Nuclear Power. So uh, one thing to understand about a nuclear reaction is that it starts by having a very large isotope. Um, so that's going to be, in this case, uranium-235. And so what's going on with uranium-235 is um, we typically practice uh, fission when it comes to our nuclear energy. Now the other option is to do fusion where you combine two hydrogens to make a helium. The downside with that is the energy right now is just too much. Uh, to go into fusion for it to actually be a usable form of energy. So we concentrate on fission, which is splitting really large atoms like 235, but that ends up having consequences like nuclear waste, which we'll be talking about shortly. So here's a typical um, nuclear reaction down at the nucleus level. So what happens is you take this nucleus of uranium-235, and it's pretty large, and you shoot neutrons at it. And when the neutrons get shot towards that, that's going to split the nuclei or the nucleus of this, uh, uh, of this uh, material. And what that's going to do is that's going to create uh, multiple uh, nu uh, nuclei, and then those will then shoot off nutrients from them to keep on uh, causing a chain reaction. And that chain reaction is going to release a ton of energy in the form of heat. So we spoke about that previously in the previous video about coal, about how you get energy this way. And now instead of using coal to burn um, and then create heat that way, now we're causing that heat to start with a nuclear reaction. So again, it starts pretty easily. You start, you put the U, uranium-235 into a fuel rod, and then um, that gets struck by some outside neutron. And then the outside neutron splits the uranium-235, releasing a ton of heat. And then the fourth step is going to be um, that heat being used to generate steam from water. Okay, And then from there, the steam turns a turbine. The turbine is then connected to a generator, and the generator makes electricity. So it's a very similar process, only instead of um, basically steps one, two, and three would can be replaced, and that's how you end up working a power plant. And so here you see the steps pretty clearly, right? The control rods um, can slow the reaction down so it doesn't get out of hand. Um, and again, you're pumping water throughout the whole thing to keep it cool and to, of course, um, boil to make that steam. And the steam is turning the turbine and then recondensed and collected again. And you do have to have some sort of reservoir um, for cooling towers to be able to make sure that all this machinery stays cool and that the reaction happens um, in water so that there's no uh, explosions and or um, you know, uh, uncontrolled nuclear reactions. And so, of course, there's downsides. Um, you're going to end up with a lot of nuclear waste because a lot of these materials, they remain radioactive for 10 half-lives, which can be thousands of years, um, depending on the material you have. Right? Uranium-235 uh, can be thousands or millions of years. Um, and then, of course, right now, they have to currently store this waste from every nuclear power plant on site. Um, there was a plan to use Yucca Mountain in Nevada um, in the United States. But uh, due to um, something called NIMBY, which is called, which stands for Not in My Backyard, um, the people of Nevada voted that down. So we have a facility that would be great, but um, unfortunately, it's just not being able to be used due to um, you know people not wanting it around them. I mean, it, which is a sensible thing. Nobody really wants to have nuclear waste in their backyard. So now we have uh, nuclear power plants all over the country that have their that have to store their own nuclear waste on site. So that can be a security risk as well as a health risk for the people who are working there and living around there. And so there have been accidents. Um, three big accidents that you may be asked about or may be asked to consider uh, are going to be Three Mile Island in, the, in Pennsylvania, USA. That was in 1979. They had a water pump failure and the um, reaction caused a partial meltdown of, uh, the, um, of the nuclear reactor. And then Chernobyl, Ukraine, was probably the worst accident. Um, that's where they had a backup generator fail, and the control rods didn't um, uh, continue on like they were supposed to. And this led to an explosion. It's probably the worst accident. That whole area released uh, massive amounts of radioactive isotopes into the air. Um, there's still radioactive isotopes all over that area, and so it may be hundreds of years before um, anywhere around there is habitable again. 
Um, and then, of course, Fukushima was probably the most recent. Um, there was an earthquake and a tsunami that caused a flood in three of the reactors that were there. Um, and so, you know, these, as you can see, the accidents can be either uh, caused by nature in the, in the event of an earthquake or a tsunami, or they can be human or mechanical errors or, you know, just errors of, um, I guess, inconvenience because it may be too difficult to up, upkeep some of these places. So. And of course, um, one thing we've been mentioning is half-life, right? A half-life is basically the amount of time it takes for this nucleus to decay, right? For it to break down. And so it doesn't go away. Um, it just decays into another atom. And at the same time it does that, it emits radiation, okay? And so generally it means you got about 10 half-lives for it to be safe or when there's about um, you know, 0.1% uh, left over. And so, for example, strontium-90 has a half-life of 29 years, and so you might expect that to be um, about 290 years until radioactive safety. So those are things to consider and things to think about um, when it comes to half-life and radiation. You will probably see something like that in a multiple choice question on the AP exam. So here's some other resources that might help you with uh, uh, nuclear power. So hopefully those will be helpful, and uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.